Tampa Coin Guy here. It's time for another half dollar hunt. All right, let's open this box up and see if we've got any enders. a lot of marked coins so hopefully the box is better than it looks I'll bring you in on the first find roll number 41 I think we finally gotten our first find oh fantastic 1964 90 percenter did you blink and miss it I know I did take a look at that nice Denver mint mark totally missed it live Oh, we'll take it. That's the first 90 percenter I've had in uh, quite some time, so really glad to see one. And I will bring you back in on the next find. Roll number 47, and I almost opened it. We got an ender. Another 64 90 percenter. We are back on the silver. All right, let's uh, do a live open of this roll. No silver sandwich that I can see, so let's take a look at this. Yep. Beautiful. Let's open box two up and see if we got any enders. Not seeing anything too obvious. Granted, the other one was on the bottom, so... Uh, I like to leave those in there for surprises like we just had, so I will bring you back in on the first find of box two. Roll number 18 of box two, and more of a miscellaneous find. A stickered half, Tet Offensive. So that's kind of interesting. I'll uh, probably set that aside. It looks like it's on a, uh, like a 2014 NIFC, but... I also saw something back here that looked a little interesting. 1966, 40 percenter. And I'm not sure what this is in front of it. Oh, look at that. Another 1964, 90 percenter. So silver, I'll call it a sandwich. I mean, they're back to back, but um, two silvers in this roll. And then this one kind of interesting uh, stickered coin. So I will bring you back in on the next find. All right, this is roll number 33. And we got another silver. It's a 1967 40 percenter. Roll number 47, and I almost had this slip past me. It's a uh, 2008 proof. Looks like it's seen better days, but... So first proof we've had in a while. I did it again. Started to open this roll, pulled it up. 1967, 40% ender. This is roll number 49. Let's see if we've got any friends. Does not look like it. Sorry, does not look like it. Um, I did find this. And another roll, it's kind of confusing me. It's a 73, but it sounds clad, but it doesn't look clad. I'm going to give it a little bit of conservation to see if it uh, comes out looking a little bit more like clad. Before we open the next box and check for enders, I wanted to bring you back in and show you the 73 that I cleaned up. It uh, looks like it was coated in, I don't know, epoxy or something, but the the edge looks somewhat silver-like but um, it definitely does not sound silver at least in comparison so I'm not a hundred percent sure what's going on with this if you guys let me know let me know down in the comments but uh, I think I'm just gonna toss it back into circulation it's just kind of a kind of an oddity but let's uh, open up uh, box number three and see if we got any enders uh, D 
decent amount of marked coins. Not seeing anything obvious, but based off the last couple boxes, the marked coins don't mean a whole lot. So I'll bring you in on the first find. All right, our fifth roll of box three, and I think I've got our first find. 1968. Denver, 40 percenter. First silver on the board for box number three. I'll bring you back in on the next find. Roll number 10, I think we got our next find. Nineteen sixty seven. Nineteen sixty seven. Forty percenter. Very next roll. Oh. Benji. Nineteen sixty two. Philly, it looks like. Oh, that's beautiful. Ninety percenter. I haven't seen one of those in ages. I want to check this. Oh, second proof of the hunt, 2003. Roll number 20, and I think we may have gotten a variety. It's pretty rough shape, but it's a 72 Denver. And I think it's an OFG. Throw a video up here of the scope, and I'm going to try to do a little bit of uh, conservation on it, but I think we might have an actual no FG. Uh, we'll find out after I do the conservation at the end of the video, though. Roll number 26. And I think... Oh, yeah. Another 67, 40 percenter. So the next roll, and I found this 1974 Philly. Is that post-mint damage, or is that a mint error? What do you think? real odd so I don't know if that's like a post mint damage from like the rolling machine or what let me know what you think in the comments down below roll number 28 and the silver gods keep blessing us another 1968 40 percenter so let's open box number four and see if we've got any enders. Not seeing anything right off the bat. You know the drill. I'll bring you back in on the first find. Okay, box four was a skunk box. And that 72 no FG was not a no FG. So I tossed it back in the mix. So let's open box number five. Let's see if we can get back to the silver. Again, seeing plenty of marked coins, but it's not really a sign of anything. So I'll bring you in if we get a find. All right, box five was a skunk box. Let's open up box six and see if we got any unders. Don't see anything obvious. I'll bring you in if we get any finds. All right, box six was a skunk box, uh, but I'm happy to have the finds that we did get. So let's do a recap. So we got this 62 Benji, three 64 Kennedys, including this heavily toned one. I, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep the toning on this or if I'm going to kill it and uh, conserve it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Got one 66 40 percenter. Got four, 67. Forty percenters. Two, 68. Forty percenters. Uh, 2003 proof. A 2008 proof. That's 
definitely going to get conserved because otherwise it looks like it's seen better days. This stickered 2014 NIFC, um, I don't really think there's a whole lot of value to the, to the sticker, so that's probably going to go back in circulation for someone else to find. Uh, this Oddball 73, it, uh, if I had to guess, it's almost, it almost seems like it was plated, silver plated, because it definitely has the sound of clad. as opposed to the beautiful sound of silver. So I think that's just going to get thrown back in circulation. And then we've got this oddball 74. And is that just post mint damage? Or, or what? I mean, I, I'm leaning towards post mint damage, so it's probably going to end up in circulation. Uh, uh, sorry, end up back in circulation, but let me know down in the comments below what you think. I'll probably throw a picture of this out on Instagram and see if I can't get some feedback. But uh, otherwise, that brings us to, uh, I believe, 44 40 percenters uh, for the year, 10 90 percenters for the year, and 19 proofs. So overall, it was a great hunt. Happy to add this to the collection. If you want to see more of my videos and I've earned it, please click the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications of my next video. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up. If you didn't, click the thumbs down. As always, thanks for watching and happy hunting.